Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game and Pie, and this is Minecraft. Uh, well, this is the ninth episode of Minecraft. Alright, so as you can see, my home looks quite a bit different than the last time you saw it. I did quite a bit of work on it. The main project is that I've been expanding from this mega elevator here. I have expanded over this way. I have expanded over that way a little bit. I went down here. To uh, where you can see this section where I worked last episode. And I've done even more than that. I've created boxes for dirt, sand, and stone specifically. I've gone up one level and started and dug out a little bit this way. So I could reach some of these areas a little bit easier. I've had a big infestation of spiders up here, which I'm going to take care of now. Come on, spiders. Oh my gosh. That was one hit. What have you guys been doing? It makes you die so fast. Gee whiz. I mean, I've still got a stone sword. This isn't like an iron sword or anything. So anyway, I've got a specific project in mind for this episode. And, of course, it's time to discuss the episode's topic! Today's topic is Comic-Con Dallas. I went to Comic-Con Dallas this year. I only went to the first day. Um, it was a lot of fun. I saw a lot of good cosplayers. Like, two Homestuck cosplayers. That was pretty cool. Hey, there's a spider and a creeper over there. I'm gonna ignore them. Anyway. Alright, so here we have the main project right here. Alright. So you see, I'm going to be building a greenhouse. That's just... You'll be seeing me do that while I talk about Dallas. Alright, so... The main stuff that I actually did there was um, I bought a um, the first 44 years of Fantastic Four on disc. Uh, that was only for 20 bucks. That's like all the comics up to 2004. That's pretty crazy right there. Not a bad price. Alright. And uh, I actually got the the uh, box signed by the guy who played uh, Fan Mr. Fantastic in the Fantastic Four movies. So that was a lot of fun. Fantastic Four is my favorite superhero group. So I was really excited to meet the guy. And get the disc. Totally awesome right there. You'll also note that I have expanded the tunnel from last time. This is the same tunnel. I'll show you a little bit more of that when we get to the bottom of it. I've smelted a lot of stuff, including a lot of brick, which I'll be using in the construction of this project. Very good, very good. Alright, so anyway, last time in the last episode, I stopped the tunnel about here. But as you can see, I've gone down quite a ways since then. I've also created a compass, which allows me to see which points in the direction of my spawn point. And the flint and steel, which allows me to shoot fire. I'll be demonstrating this stuff later.
Actually, no. First, I actually want to... Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. Here. Boom! And now I'm up here. Very good, very good. Okay, so, let's start constructing the base line of this, shall we? Let's see here. I'm going to want all of this to be my crop areas. Well, actually, it's be more like. I really want it to be more of a 3x3 three three section for my crops. And actually, yeah, that's... I just get, keep, keep trying to figure out what I want to do here. Actually, it would be best if I could have it, uh, yeah, alright, that'll be fine. And then I'm going to have four sections like this. I'm gonna need more of uh, wait a second. Do I have glass in my yes I do. Okay. I'm going to be using a lot of glass in this project as well. I'll be explaining more how the crops actually work once I've constructed the uh, area a bit more. Also, I'm going to need more water for my buckets. So I can go ahead and go out here and get some. Because you know what? I live right next to the ocean. The ocean is awesome. Things live in it. But we haven't exactly seen those things in the series yet. I'm sure we'll get a good look at them eventually. Squids, mainly. Although I believe that in the modern version of the game, there uh, are also fish. I'm not entirely sure about that, though. I did quite a bit of deforestation around here. As you can see, there aren't nearly as many trees. I needed more wood, and it would just make it easier to avoid enemies. So, fewer trees it is. I've also got a section over here, specifically made for uh, doing glass. Creating glass, that is. That's not eight, so that's fine. And uh, the reason why I need to come back, really, is to get more dirt. For once, I need dirt. There was a while in a section that you weren't, that you didn't see, 
where um, I was doing all my deforestation stuff, and I had so much dirt in my inventory. I needed to just start throwing it out to grab more important stuff. Of course, now I actually need a de need dirt for a little something, but uh, hey, I have plenty of it. That is gonna that is not gonna be a problem at all. Oh no, it's getting nighttime now. Get up here. You know what? I'm just gonna finish doing this little bit right here, and then I will go to bed. There we go. And continue with my project in the morning. Yeah, for a while, uh, the section they didn't see is that it started raining, and I don't know if we've seen rain in this series yet. But, um, basically, whenever it's raining, it's dark enough so that enemies can continue surviving. And so that's why there were a bunch of spiders around me, because uh, they'd actually survived for a day or two because it was raining so much. But yeah, uh, I, I think I've actually gone over pretty much everything to say about Comic-Con Dallas. Uh, but this does bring me up to another good point. It's that uh, that isn't the only convention I'll be going to this year. Uh, my friend Jordan and I are going to be going to uh, the Screw Attack convention this year. Uh, apparently, he was uh, kind of convinced Lukagen to go, or something. I don't know exactly how all that worked out, but uh, hey, that's what he tells me. And I believe in him. He's a pretty trustworthy guy. And by pretty, I mean exceedingly. He's cool. Uh, wait, actually, I could have used the dirt right there. Oh. All right, this tree, this tree needs to go. I actually made some iron pickaxes for all my deforestation because that's just how many trees I needed to take down. When you need to defeat so many trees that you're using iron pickaxes, you know that something serious is going on. Right. But yeah, Jordan and I, we have uh, our badges all ready to go. He's going to be hanging out with me during the week. Like, I think he'll be, like, sleeping over and stuff. We're going to have a ton of awesome times. So, if you want to meet me, uh, you can just go to uh, Screw Attack Convention. We'll be hanging out over there. It'll be fun. You might set something on fire. Probably not. We'd uh, probably get kicked out if we set something on fire, actually. So, um, how have you guys been, you know? We've been, uh, I've just been rocking over here. Well, still trying to find a job. It's just, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> For some reason, I applied to, like, a bunch of places, but they just don't hire me. I'd like to be able... 
to um, do something here, get some work done, work on stuff, but it just isn't happening. There we go. Actually, I might not use brick in the construction of this uh, thing right here. But you know what, I will. I will definitely do that. And I'm going to need more water. So I'm going to need to grab my brick, get a lot more water. Oh, also, I'm going to set up my torches now. Just gonna have the torches hovering over the area. Cow, no, go away. We don't take your kind here. Not ever since the cow's incident. Minecraft is just so relaxing sometimes. Just get to building something, making something cool, and all of your worries just sort of melt away. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not building this thing out of brick. It just... I'm just not going to have enough bricks. I have 64. That's not going to be nearly enough for this. However, I do have, like, a bajillion stones. So that'll work out.
Oh. Pain. Wait, do I still have any stone? No, I don't. I am now lacking in stone, which I will have to go get. As well as water and glass. I'm going to need all of that stuff. Oh my goodness, it's already like 21 minutes into the video. And it's starting to become a little bit dark. That's quite unfortunate. Let's light up this area a little bit more. Just so that monsters won't spawn quite as much around here. I don't want any zombies eating my navels, you understand. And yeah, monsters don't exactly spawn on my front lawn anymore. <laughs> they have to spawn a decent ways away, and then walk over here. From over there. Giving me quite a bit of time to react to their presence. Oh, and then there's a spider right next to me, of course. Yeah, he's right there. I hear ya. You don't have to tell me twice that you're there. Even though you've just told me like three times. Yeah, you're still there. Don't worry, I'll go to bed soon. So that you can just chill out. So let's see, I've got more glass. Ah yes, stone is what I needed. I believe that two more stacks would be more than enough. If I have enough room for two more stacks. Yeah, I'll just put some sandstone in for a minute for now. It's not where it's supposed to go, but whatevers. All of the whatevers. There we go. And now the spiders aren't nearly as violent anymore. Oh, first of all, let's just put this here. Here. There we go. That spider is following me, but it can't get to me once it hits that wall. Alright, time to start putting in the glass. Making good so that monsters and other animals cannot enter this area.
guess I didn't put that there then. Then where did I put that wall? Oh. It's here. Okay. Alright, now that that's done, it's time to start putting in the glass into the ceiling! Because, you know, spiders can climb up the walls and stuff, and that's not good. Yeah, the, basically the way the crops work is that first you create a hoe, which you hit dirt with. Once you hit dirt with a, pl with a hoe, it um, becomes plowed dirt, which you can plant seeds on. After you plant seeds on the plowed dirt, uh, the, the seeds can grow into wheat, which you can turn into bread, which is a health item. It's much more convenient than turning pigs into health by killing them and then cooking their flesh. <laughs> However, you do need to have water around the uh, plowed dirt so that it can become fertile. Oh yeah, now the spider's following me again, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, that spider just doesn't give up. Even when it is clearly outmatched. Alright, let's see. First of all, we can put this sugar cane with the rest of the sugar cane. Take this sapling out. Grab the seeds. Create a plow for the very first time. And, um... Yeah, okay, time to show you how this works. Oh. Alright, well, the episode is nearly over. I'm just going to show you some seeds. And whenever we come back next time, uh, we'll probably have some crops to show off. Because I'll be uh, finishing up the project off-screen. Which is basically just putting in some more water. Adding in a uh, chest with which I uh, a chest or two with which I can store all my seeds and such. And that's about it. But you'll see all the stuff that I've done whenever you, you uh, start the next video. Or well, whenever I make the next video as well. I need to do that too. So as you can see, I'm plowing the water here. And I believe that that's actually fertile soil already because the water is right next to it. If you enemies or other various mobs stand on the plowed soil, it will become regular dirt again. We don't want that. And that's why you kind of need to box your area off from various enemies. Alright, so as you can see, this dirt is darker. That means that it is ready to have seeds put on it. Over time, these seeds will become, uh, well, stuff that I can work with. Oh, and because 
these patches of dirt are so close to the water, it is actually possible to um, put stuff on them. Yes, the dirt doesn't actually have to be touching the water. It just has to be close enough. And I'm just going to put the seeds on this section. Alright, folks. Well, that's it for this part. I've been Mr. Game and Pie, and I'll see you guys next time.